okay so ios 16.1 is here at least the first beta and this is everything you need to know when it comes to this update for me on my iphone you can see that this update updating from ios 16 came in at exactly 4.56 gigs now when it comes to the changes that this software has to offer if we go into settings go to general and go to the about you can see that it's up to date and the build number is 20b5045d that's the build number and when it comes to the new changes that this update has to offer the first one if you are in the united states if you go into your settings and then go to where it says battery and click where it says battery battery health and charging you see just below optimized battery charging if you're in the united states you'll be able to see clean energy charging and what this basically does you can see it's explained here and it says in your region iphone will try to reduce your carbon footprint by selectively charging when lower carbon emissions electricity is available iphone learns from your daily charging routine so it can reach full charge before you need to use it so that's the first change now if you were to go into your settings again and then go to the battery section you can see here you have the option to show battery percentage now this was actually there when it comes to the iphone on ios 16 but on ios 16.1 a number of users didn't have this and it adds this show battery percentage to the iphone xr iphone 11 and iphone mini series if you lock your device and then you know you decide that you want to edit your or customize your lock screen or home screen you click customize you can see that your phone splits or separates the lock screen and home screen and you can now see clearly which one you are editing if it's the lock screen or home screen this update has also added live activities for the iphone 14 pro and 14 pro max that will be able to update on the dynamic island and when the device is in sleep mode so if you go into your settings and then you go to like a live activity application such as the apple tv app right there you will see that you have the option to enable live activities and you can see there if i toggle it on and if i have an iphone 14 pro or 14 pro max you can see live activities will be able to show and also there is the same live activities section if you go into the passcode and face id which you can turn on and live activities will be able to show when your device is locked if you have some accessories that you you are thinking of buying for your home app or thinking of uh, connecting this update has added support for meta and you see this by going into your settings application going to general and then going to where it says meta accessories now you can see meta accessories is listed above and have been added to connected services and in case you don't know what this is meta is a new smart home standard that aims to improve cross-platform compatibility for accessories if you have like an ipad with the latest ipad os version i'll be happy to let you know that you can drag icons to an extended display when it comes to stage manager and you can add more windows that works with stage manager and some other minor updates that have been updated when it comes to this ios 16.1 the first one has to do with the battery so a number of people are complaining that ios 16 is draining their battery like so much so drastic that you know they need an update as soon as possible and there's talk of ios 16.0.1 being released at least to the iphone 14 series if you go into your music or media and play a specific song the icon that shows on your lock screen if you have like earphones connected is slightly larger than what was there before also if you go into your settings and then you go to game center you have a new splash screen that shows you what's new in game center and once you surpass this splash screen you'll be able to see a settings that you can turn on to allow finding by your friends so that they can find you in game center and play specific games together now those seems to to be the new features and changes that are here with ios 16.1 like and subscribe for more and stay tuned for the next update peace